Usually plays. I have just done the graft and I am back to do an album versus album review. And here's a clue. Oasis versus Arctic Monkeys. Two, two of the biggest, fastest selling debut albums of all time. Oasis was. And Oasis's was built more on legacy. And um, making people hear them. Whereas Arctic Monkeys was through social media and word of mouth where basically people found out, you know what, these are brilliant, like they, they are worth the hype. Oasis created the hype. These was worth it as much as Oasis were. But Oasis never really did that until they released songs like whatever and people got on them quick. Arctic Monkeys were different. It was word of mouth through gigs. Um, MySpace. Just a bit of history for you there. Tom MySpace, through MySpace, they were the first band to blow up through MySpace fully and catapult to the stratospheres. Their Sheffield show, or I think it's in London, at the Astoria, I think, or somewhere, absolutely sensational. Okay, so without further ado, we're going to do definitely maybe versus whatever people say, that is what I'm not. Lyrically, both very different, I must say. Noel's an excellent songwriter who writes on perspectives, whereas Alex Turner is a great um, observationalist writer. Very street smart. So that reminds me of Sean Ryder in ways as well. So we're going to go track by track. The 94 and the 2000s, the millennial band. I couldn't stand the Arctic Monkeys at the time because I'd seen it, been there, done that with Oasis. But anyway, okay, so we're going to track by track it and actually see which is a better debut album because both of these bands released killer debuts that will never be forgotten. So we start with Oasis, Rock and Roll Star. And it's a straight 10. It just comes out of the gate straight away. I live my life in the city and there's no easy way out. Done. You're in there. Blast. Very... Aquarium sounding, very like, you know, the production got changed loads of time and they changed studios, but absolutely fantastic song, start to finish, no Gallagher's guitars, everything on point, on the nuggets, rock and roll start, bam, have some of that, 10 out of 10, going up against a view from the 10 yeah so which is the view from the afternoon i don't know why i put the view from the 10 the view <laughs> the view from the afternoon arctic monkeys dun, 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 dun. rabble rousing you know you're in for something like buzzcocks meets the sex pistols here you're in for something mixed with a bit of the jam bit of the strokes wow it's a 10 straight 10 what can i say I didn't even like the band back then, but you've got to admit, anticipation and then and then up, 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 set you. Yeah, great, man. I mean, they were from Runcom trying to be Mancunian. It does bug me throughout the album. But listen, I didn't even like the fans at the time because it was all arse licking the clothes and their haircuts. But I've got to admit, fucking great song. 10 out of 10. We're even Stevens. Okay. Next, Shaker Maker Oasis. Sad life. I could do this all day, sing them all. Shaker Maker, so like rocking. Do, reminds me a bit of Quo. Um, Beatles. Do, 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 do. I love it. It's a rocker. It's just straight in your face. It, it's got the 70s rock vibes as well. And I'd know where I've been. I'd like to build myself. The hybrid voice from Liam. The guitars, the simple bonehead bar chords, the drums. And it's just a great rock song. And I'm partial to give it a 10. I will give it a 9. It's not as good as Rock and Roll Star, but it's, it's a cracking song to just keep the momentum going. It's a 9 for me. And it's going up against I Bet You Look Good on the Dance Floor. Which beats it. I Bet You Look Good on the Dance Floor is a 10. 
It's the first song that blew up with them, man. Bango, I bet that you look good on the dance floor. Yeah. Great song. What can... It's just, it was a floor filler at the time and it really did rock. And I have to say, it just, it's a, it's a good, it's a straight 10. Another hit in the bag. Um, it was the first hit, but on this album, I'd say Arctic Monkeys are just ahead at this point for me. But I'll, I, I can do this at the end. What we'll do, we'll just do the tens and the track by track. I just like to, you know, treat it like a boxing match sort of thing. But I bet you look good on the dance floor, 10. Next, we've got track three from Oasis, Live Forever. It's an 11. One of the few songs that are past a 10 for me. In the 90s, I wasn't as mad on it. I've grew to love it even more as I've got older. I really have. Um, I appreciate it more, especially when I heard the acoustic version on the Supersonic documentary and the Bonehead's talking about it. It just takes me back a bit. It really does take me back to when it came out and it's a fantastic song that will never be surpassed, especially on this album. Done. 11. 10, 11, whatever. <laughs> then we've got track three from Arctic Monkeys, Fate, Tales of San Francisco, 10. Straight 10. It's boogie. I like this song a lot. I, 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 pref, I, could, I can't even give it an 11, but I, pref, I probably prefer it to I Bet You Look Good, but that's a 10. It's, ju, it's just so jivey, and I love the... Don't want to hear you. It's a crowd filler. He's doing that at the show. They've got the audience in the palm of their hands with these little chants they've got. Fake Tales of San Francisco. is class. Classing. It's a blast in a glass, as they say. Great. It, yeah, it's fantastic song. It really it has. It, it just it's just jukebox rock, but really raw. Again, buzzcocks. Ten out of ten. <laughs> Given live forever gets an eleven. I don't know, but yeah, um, straight ten. We're neck and neck virtually. Next up for Oasis, we've got up in the sky. It gets a little Wayne's World. It gets a little. Doom, 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 doom. Good song, man. Seven. Seven. Um, seven or eight. The weakest song on definitely maybe so far, I, I'd have to admit. How does it feel when you're inside now? Hey, you. <laughs> seven. Good song, though. It, yeah. It's, it's, there's something about it. It's very, again, very like free free going and rocky and it was just wall of sound stuff but in terms of quality it's not the best so far so it's a seven and it's going up against dancing shoes arctic monkeys dancing shoes is a straight nine you dirty little swine i love dancing shoes the brakes near the end as well and it just gets faster like you're not from New York City, you're from Rotherham. Oh no, that's a... Um, get out the, get out the band one, put down the anthem. Yeah, um, I'm thinking of another song there, aren't I? I think so. Yeah, I am. But, listen, Dancing Shoes is good, it's a nine, there you go. Next for Oasis, we've got the sensational, the hypnotic, the absolutely magnetic and majestic Columbia. Ten. Just a ten. What? What? Where can you go wrong with this song? And we were, now we are, we are All this confusion, nothing to say to me There we were Just as it, man, in abundance You just like, 
yeah, man, and it, it's just a trippy one, and it's a rocky one, and it just goes on for ages. It's an absolute jam. They did more of this on BA now, but you could hear this is just class 10 done. Next, you probably couldn't, I forgot the frigging title, you probably couldn't see for the, you were starting, blah, blah, blah. It's an eight. It's one of the most, it's not the most strongest on the album for me, but it's still a strong eight. Next, Supersonic Oasis. <laughs> See, just as Arctic Monkeys are going on the flow, Oasis just drop like Columbia and Supersonic back to back. That's not fair, you know what I mean? Monkeys do dancing shoes, but you put, but Columbia, Supersonic's an 11, probably again, a 10, a 10 out of 10. I need to be myself, I can't be no one else I'm feeling supersonic, give me gin and tonic You can have it all, but how much do you want it? You make me laugh It's just, the again, I think Carol's drums suit this album a lot, man I know they say he sucked on drums, but the... It's down, down, the sort of amateur Ringo Starr style drumming works for this album. And it's just so fucking cool, this song, man. It is cool as hell, man. I feel like I'm, you, you, you never listen to this song and not think it's mint. Like, I'm telling you, you always listen to this song and go, it's mint. Still, it holds up 10 out of 10. Class. Okay. Next, Arctic Monkeys, Still Take You Home, is an 8, but it's not one of the strongest songs again. It's an 8, it's it's pretty good, not a patch on Supersonic, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ow, nothing would beat Supersonic off Arctic Monkeys album. I'm sorry, it's just not all, all Live Forever, They've, Oasis have got some fucking A-makers on this and I'm going to say that. Still Take Your Home is as good song, Mo. It's an eight. Okay, next we've got Bring It On Down. This is an eight or a seven. I'll give it an eight. What was that sound doing around your brain? Today is just a day in the hand with my ten on the ghost terrain. <laughs> Bring It On Down rocks. It's like rock and roll star. Like a lesser version, like Columbia, but speed it up. But it just keeps the motion going. You feel like you're at the show with this, and it's just so euphoric, youth, excited, Brit pop vibes about it. Like drinking bottle of hooch and then like pissing in them or something. Go and get in your kebab and chips and just. This was like lad lad culture before Arctic Monkeys took it further with their lyrics. And Charl like did, not not Charlton's, but a lot of bands after Oasis seem to get on the laddy laddy like Kasabian. But Oasis were the innovators for the laddy laddy. The obviously the mad for it. We all did it. I still do. Uh, I think I got sold. You know what I'm saying? But but um, bringing on down is an eight. It's killer. It's a strong song. It's not a ten, but it's a straight up fun rocker. A cocky as fucking swaggerish, but it's facing Riot Van, and you know what? The lyrics on this song are fantastic. Talking about police brutality, Yorkshire style, I think. You know them. I don't know if it's aiming it at South Yorkshire police, police, South Yorkshire five oh, but it's definitely near, yeah, South Yorkshire dibble. But the lyrics are really good, poignant, like. Just because he's had a few drinks, I think it doesn't make give you the right to act like an arsehole or something, right? Oh, no, no, that's the... It's just, a, it's, it's about police ignorance and you hear it in some of the lyrics, throwing people in the van for nothing and that. And yeah, um, I'd say it's an eight. I was going to give it a nine. I do like it. It's a very subtle, very nice emotional song, but I'll give it an eight. Doesn't go further than that, but it's good. And next we've got cigarettes and alcohol. Here we go again. 
9 or 10. We've got to go a 10 with this. It's T-Rex, but it's a 10. It's killer. What can you say? <laughs> to find yourself a job where there's nothing worth working for. Down, down. What, what can you do, man, with a song like this? Oasis just hit it harder with the lyrics. Like we some might say and the, on Morning Glow, they just hit harder. A lot of bands tried to do it later on, but Oasis just got the message so quick. And it was just so anthemic and you could jump up and down as well. Totally different bands in terms of tempos and speeds. Nothing alike in terms of that. One's aching to the more 70s vibe, punky stuff and clash as opposed to Oasis. But I just didn't like Alex Turner's delivery a lot, although the lyrics are memorable. Red light indicates doors seven. And if I'm not wrong, that's the one. Uh, dum, 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 dum. When a smear off in a tropical reef. Yeah, that's the one. I like the jukebox shit and all in one of the songs as well. Uh, Montagues and Capulets. Montague and like uh, very, very like just northern, just very like observation of growing up in pubs and workmen's clubs and all new Latin Rotherham and Sheffield. So yeah, no different than pulp, but more laddie laddie again, more scruffy as opposed to classy. So red light indicates doors. Dun, 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 dun. Fun song seven. Not a patch on cigarettes and alcohol. Sorry. Okay, next. <laughs> now, funnily enough, people slag this off Diggsy's Dinner, yeah. But Diggsy's Dinner is probably as good as anything on this Arctic Monkeys album. It could get on it. What a life it would be to come to my boutique. Lift you up and I pass free to lift you flying. Do, 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 do. It's, a, it's actually a good song. When you take the pretentious comments out and just judge it as a song, is it any worse than something off a Blur album or a Pulp album? It's it's just because next to like cigarettes and alcohol, bringing on down Supersonic, Columbia, Live Forever Up In The Sky, Shake and Make A Rock and Roll Star, Diggsy's Dinner is not going to stand out, but... You could throw it in the Art 8 Monkeys album and it'd probably get away with it. It could go on Ocean Colour Scene. What a life it would be to come to my boutique if you were up in a best way. I don't know. It doesn't sound like that, but you know where I'm going. Stereophonics could have done it. Wow. <laughs> Nothing would be to come to my boutique Live you up and I pass away To leave you crying Could it not? Could it not be on a Stereophonics album? Yeah. Good song, but it's a six. It's a six. Okay, next we've got Mardi Bum by Arctic Monkeys. And I love it. It's a ten. Um, that's the trop, yeah. Uh, Mardi Bum, he's, he's fantastic, straight up 10. Uh, again, Arctic Monkeys are coming back into it now after not, I wouldn't say fillers, but not as good as the start. And then next, just as Arctic Monkeys are rocking again with Mardi Bum, which is an absolutely class song, we've got. Slide Away by Oasis. Whoo! What can you say? Slide Away just... It's it's it home. Really does take it there. They could have done without the next track for the ending it, which is actually a good song. But Slide Away, again, another... Not another 10. Yes, my friends, an 11 probably. I can't even decide if it's a 10, it's probably an 11, it's a 20. No, it's a 10, straight 10, slide away. Now that you're wrong, we'll find a way of chasing the sound. 
Oh, let me be the one who shines with you. Great song, man. Absolutely fantastic. I say absolutely fantastic a lot. It's my trait. Slide away. Don't. You think you're done on cigarettes and alcohol, and then this comes out. And they really should have called it Game by then, because the album's already been amazing. Which, going up against, perhaps Vampire is a bit straight. Right? Six. Not my favourite Arctic Monkeys song. Straight six. Good song, but dismissive. Six. So next, we've got Married With Children to end it. And you know what? A nice song. Goodbye, I'm coming home. What a song. You might laugh how does Married With Children end up on this. Like, but... It's not that different from Riot Van from Arctic Monkeys. It's just, and I like the bit, right did be with you. And it does like an Ian Brody Lightning Seeds thing, with you. <laughs> Sounds like Lightning Seeds, if you know what I mean. You, you, you'll you know what I'm saying when you listen to Lightning Seeds, the production, the little wheel. Sounds like Ian Brody, but Liam. You can hear his voice, he's very good and he's a fucking good singer when he sings Married With Children. It's a seven for me. It's a very good song. Nowhere near the songs that have been on here, but not worse than Up In The Sky. In its own right, it's a nice acoustic song and I love it. I like Songbird as well, but we'll get to that another time. Talking to the Songbird yesterday. Right, Married With Children, seven. And now Arctic Monkeys have got some more beasts coming though. And they've got more songs, so it gives a pendulum to them. When the sun goes down, 10. What a song. Over and over and out of town. They say it's better when the sun goes down. What a scummy man. Give him half a chance, but he'll drop you if you can. Yeah. I did. I didn't like the over northernness, and I didn't. I don't like Alex Turner when he goes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. You're not fucking Richard Orley. Do your own shtick, man. You're copying like all the workman club guys. I found it a bit, a bit, a bit daft. But the lyrics are good. They're strong. When the sun goes down, they say it's better when the sun goes down. <sighs> Great song, 10 out of 10. Amphemic, punky, raw. No wonder crowds go mental to these. Not as mental as they did to Oasis, by the way. I've got to admit that. Nobody went as mental to Oasis. Trust me. Okay, next, From the Rich to the Rubble, 7 by Arctic Monkeys. And it's a good song, but nothing on When the Sun Goes Down or Mighty Bum or Riot Van. Or the others. And last but not least, I've got to hold my hand up. A certain romance is phenomenal. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do this. But I have to admit, it is an absolutely fantastic song. I've said it again. Haven't I? It's amazing. Um, I love the heart and soul that goes into this song. It's like the strokes. Does I like that just because you've had a few drinks doesn't doesn't make pint doesn't give you the right to act like an act or something like I don't know I forgot where he goes with it but it's just very heartfelt it's very northern very heartfelt you feel this song I really do feel this song I really like it a lot certain romances are ten. So who wins? Okay, the winner of the battle between Definitely Maybe and Arctic Monkeys, whatever people say I am, that's what I'm not. <laughs> um, right, you do it based on the tens and how many. Now, song for song, this is neck and neck for a long, long way. So Arctic Monkeys have one, two, 
three, four strong tens, I'd say. Oasis have one, two, three, four strong tens that you could say are elevens. And they have a few more, they have an eight. Well, they've got five tens, Oasis. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Because I said Live Forever was an 11. Arctic Monkeys, one, two, three, four tens. But not just based on that. Oasis don't only have one six. Arctic Monkeys only have one six. So we're neck and neck here. But there's a few eights. There's seven each. A ten, an eight. You got you got three tens at the beginning from out eight monkeys straight off the, the gate, but the middle part lets it down for them. And ultimately with less tracks, I think Oasis just hit it more. They just they just have more anthems. And that's slightly edging it to Oasis, definitely maybe, because their tens are elevens, where Art It Monkeys tens are tens. Oasis is a like, oh my god, the twenties really. That's the way I see it. Um, and uh, Art It Monkeys sevens or eights, like the middle part lets it down for them. Oasis come back with slide away, and really, even though Art It Monkeys end strong, it's just up down, up down, up down. Whereas Oasis, it's pretty much up for most of the album there's only a say digs his dinner that slows it down a little bit but doesn't even slow the pace it just slows down the craftsmanship other than that there's only married with children that holds the pace and it doesn't mean just because it's fast it's a great album but when you've got songs like supersonic cigarettes and alcohol bring it on down Columbia, Up in the Sky, Live Forever, Shake and Make a Rock and Roll, all back to back. It's difficult to beat. And on that, Oasis have won today because Arctic Monkeys had absolute shades of genius. And it was a faster selling debut. But I put that more down to social media as an outlet because if Oasis would have had social media, that still would have been the fastest seller ever. They didn't. They had to... They didn't have MySpace to get them. They had to actually get seen live. So, but I'm not resentful because Arctic Monkeys, absolutely brilliant band. Better now than at the time. I didn't like them. Listen to that album. It is phenomenal. But the winner today is definitely maybe. And the one thing that separates it, it's just more anthemic. It just does more. It just hits you more. Okay, peace. Tell me what you think. Do you agree or disagree? That's cool. There is no truth, only human opinion. Put your comments in my YouTube and tell me what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video. Oasis Prevail, but Art It Monkeys. That album was one of the best debuts of all time, I've got to admit. Just not as good as this. Peace.